Welcome to The Sculptor's Apprentice, where you learn how now. And now your guide on this epic journey of learning. Hold it right there. A quick edit. Actually, two quick edits to this video. At some point in the video, I say um, that plexiglass is not uh, very good material for making these calipers, and I was wondering about that. So I went ahead and made a set, and they work great. They actually work really well. They're a little bit flexible, um, and they might break, but they're definitely better than I thought they would be. So do it, if that's what you have. Second little edit. We've had a few people ask us um, if they could buy calipers from us, because we cut them out a lot at a time. And at first I was thinking, no, we don't want to do that. But then I thought about it for a second, and I think we can make them a lot cheaper um, and offer them to you at a cheaper price. So we decided to do that. We talked to our supplier, and we had uh, all of these cut out um, with uh, pre-drilled holes. Um, for a lot of different scales, and you can buy these on Amazon. So we have put them uh, on uh, the Amazon store. There will be a link in the show notes to exactly where you can go to buy them, or you can go to Amazon and search for proportional calipers, because I think this will be the only set for sale on Amazon, um, and you can buy them there. So watch the video, make them yourself if you can, because that's a great way to learn how they work and exactly you know what the, the process is. But if you don't have a shop to make them, you can buy them for us from us for probably 30 bucks cheaper than uh, the major sculpture stores. I think they sell them for like $90 and we're trying to be right at 60. So we'll see, but uh, take a look, enjoy the video. Thanks again, and now back to it. E. Spencer Schubert. Hi, I'm Spencer with The Sculptor's Apprentice. Thanks for being here, we really appreciate it. And as always, if you have any questions, if there's something you don't understand, please post it in the comments and we'll get those questions answered. Today we're gonna talk about enlarging calipers. We're gonna talk about what they do, I'm gonna show you a few kinds, and we're gonna show how you can make some of your own so you don't have to spend $90 like I did on these about seven years ago. Enlarging calipers are a measurement device that we use to take measurements off a smaller sculpture and translate those into a measurements for a larger sculpture at a specific proportion. These enlarging calipers are set up for three times enlargement. So basically, if I measure one inch over here, then these calipers automatically show me three inch. And the way that they do that is because this measurement right here is exactly one-third the measurement of this measurement. This proportional truth holds up at any scale. If we put this pivot point in a different place on these calipers, then that will change the enlargement. If this measurement is one-fifth the measurement from here to here, then we'll have a one-to-five enlargement. Same thing for two times enlargement or four times enlargement. It's all about the ratio. The calipers that I purchased years and years and years ago have an adjustable scale. So you can set these calipers all the way from two times enlargement up to five times enlargement. Now a quick side note, you really don't ever want to enlarge more than three times because tiny little errors get exponentially larger. You can do it if you have to, but understand that you're going to have to change a lot of things on the final sculpture. So the problem with this adjustable scale is that you're in the middle of enlarging a sculpture, things are going great, and then you set the calipers down and come back the next day and suddenly things just don't measure up and you're not exactly sure why and you have to go back and do all that work just because this nut slipped an eighth of an inch that way. It seems like a really convenient thing to be able to buy one set of calipers and have all these different scales, but really it can be kind of a pain in the tail if you're getting serious about this. So the way that we've remedied that in our studio is by creating calipers for every specific enlarging scale. In fact, we have these for three times, two times, four times, and five times enlargement, and we even have a few that I don't know what the numbers are, I just know that it did exactly the right scale for one specific maquette to get me to my final size. So this is my favorite set of calipers, and these are a pair of blanks, they haven't been turned into a set yet, but these are three foot calipers, they're made out of one eighth inch aluminum, and they can do some serious monument measuring. <laughs> okay, let's get serious, and I'm going to show you how you can make these in your studio at a fraction of the cost you can buy them. Okay, we're down here in the shop, and we're going to show you how to put these together. Now, normally this isn't how we would do it because we have ours cut out in bulk, um, but I wanted to show you guys how you can do it in your shop with your tools. So I went ahead to Metal by the Foot. You can check them out at metalbythefoot.com, and I purchased two pieces of .080 aluminum sheet. I've gone ahead and traced the template on here using one of our other uh, enlarging calipers. The way you will take care of this is by going to the show notes page, printing out the PDF at the correct size, and then gluing it on or taping it on to your material. We need our calipers to be exactly the same size. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some Super 77 and we're going to glue these two pieces of metal together 
and that way we'll be cutting out two at a time. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and then we're going to jump over to the bandsaw, and I'm going to cut these out. If you don't have a bandsaw, you can use a jigsaw. So I'm going to use this Super 77. I'm going to spray it on one piece. I'm going to put the other piece down on it, and then temporarily they will be glued together while we cut them out. Just to be clear what we're doing here, we're cutting out a metal sandwich. We've got our paper template, spray adhesive glued to the top of a piece of aluminum, and then we've got that piece of aluminum spray adhesive glued to another piece of aluminum, so that when we cut it out on the bandsaw or with our jigsaw, we're getting two pieces that are exactly the same for each piece we cut out. Then we can peel those pieces apart and we'll have two calipers. And in this section, right here what we're doing is sanding those rough cut bandsaw things right to the line of the template so they're nice and smooth. Now we have our two sets of perfectly sanded and cut out enlarging calipers. Now none of that cleanup was required, but if you're going to be using something all day long, you might as well make it look nice. So now, now that they're all done and we're not going to do any more finishing, we just pop these two apart. That Super 77 is great for temporarily holding these kind of things, but the, it doesn't work that well, which is perfect because we don't want it to work that well. We want them just to be able to peel right apart. So there's set number one, there's set number two. Now we'll take these over to the drill press and we will drill the last hole. So we've got our hole marked here. We're doing a two times enlarging uh, caliper. So we've got it set to six, or six inches from this tip to this tip. That makes it 12 inches from this side to this side. That gives us our one to two. So we're going to drill this hole right in the middle and then we will bolt them together and be done. There you have it, we're back up in the studio. That is about it. We drilled our hole. We just used a quarter 20 nut right here with two washers, put it together. And now the ultimate test. Let's just see. One inch, you're gonna have to take my word for it. Two inches, we're good. Thanks a bunch, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments and we'd love to answer them. Have a great day.